Well, hello everyone. Hope you're all doing well, having a wonderful week. I wanted to come on here and give you guys a promo for the big picture this Saturday night on Six Screens, uh, Six Screens of Watchtower, the Tele Network. Um, wanted to let you guys know what we're going to discuss, kind of give you a little bit of a heads up, so maybe that you can do a little bit of research on your own before you watch the show. But uh, we all know that there are secret societies out there. Uh, we all know that there's been presidents and other world leaders that have been assassinated for wanting to expose these secret societies. Well, why do they exist? Uh, what kind of plans do they have for we the people, the common people, the useless eaters as they like to call us? What kind of plans did they have? And what did they accomplish? And what are they still trying to do right now? Well, we're going to explain that. Um, I'm going to give you guys a little history lesson. Uh, we're going to go back to the 60s a little bit, talk about that. Uh, this could actually go back a lot further, but we're going to start with the 60s. We're going to pick up there, uh, show you what was said back then, and show you how that plan has been revised and what these folks had in store for us. And so we are going to explain the 16-year plan to destroy America. We will be bringing our facts. We will be bringing our information. We will be bringing uh, questions and things for you guys to consider, to get your mind running, to get it working. Um, and like always, you know, if... This is our research. This is what we have found. This is what we're sharing. And if you have found something different that uh, debunks or gives a different narrative to what we are sharing, please share it with us. Because uh, that's the way that we're all able to learn more, is to be able to communicate with each other, even if we have difference of, differences of opinions. Um, it's very important to do that. And a lot of people haven't learned the art of having a friendship or having communication with somebody, open communication with somebody that you may have differences of, differences with. And I guess the biggest example I can share with you guys this evening real quick, uh, me and John, XJW Analyzer, we don't agree on everything. There's quite a few things that we disagree on. But one thing that I've learned is every person has a different way of learning things. So let's just take John, for example. John is a very facts-driven guy. He's very analytical. He needs the evidence and he needs the proof before he's able to make his decision about things. Nothing wrong with that. Me, on the other hand, I'm more intuitive. I look at events. I look at things that have happened. I look for patterns. And sometimes, um, depending on the information, one of those groups is going to be ahead of the other. For example, when it came to March of 2020, I told John about this whole CV thing, that it was bullcrap, and he wasn't buying it yet. The facts and the evidence were out. But once the facts and the evidence and the data did come out, John has completely changed his tune. He's like, yeah, Jimmy, you're right about that. So because we're able to understand each other, how we process our information, how we take it in, then we can understand how we're able to communicate with each other, even though we different, have difference of opinions. I hope that makes sense. I hope you guys get what I'm saying. Anyway, I kind of went off on a tangent, but like I said, tune in for the big picture this Saturday night, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. It will be on the Six Screens Tele Network. And uh, you guys should know how to find that by now. And I also, for those that may not know, I did start a Facebook group for just the big picture. So you can go to Facebook, type in the big picture, and you can find all the videos that we've done on there. And I also posted four roundtable videos that Deasis and John and I did where we went a little bit more political on stuff. But again, everything's all tied together. So we look forward to seeing you uh, Saturday night so we can talk about the 16-year plan to destroy America. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Y'all have a great night, 
And like always, I'm sending much love to each and every one of you. Take care. We'll see you soon.